this is Aussie Gamer 17 and welcome to part 41 of my 100% walkthrough for Elden Ring. All right, we left things here at the point of grace, the foot of the four belfries. Now we're going to just quickly head up and check out the four belfries and I'll explain a little bit about them when we get there. To get there, we need to run up to here and then follow the path up to the very top. These are little markings on the map, uh, four towers. We need to get to the fourth tower and specifically get to about there where there is another site of grace. Now, on our way up, there's a whole bunch of jellyfish. We're going to ignore them and there are giant ghost trolls that we're also going to annoy. They're pretty powerful at the moment and so we're not going to be uh, fighting those. We've got other things to do. So, that is the plan for now. Let's head up this way, heading to that first... Um, beacon that I put down and then we can follow the path from there we can just ignore the jellyfish grab some goodies yum 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 um, yeah ignore these got oh what was that I want that yep grab that crystal bud if you look yeah see there's one of the giant trolls right there we're going to ignore him and we're going to grab this And we'll probably see another giant troll appear somewhere near here. Uh, there he is, straight through the legs, go. And just ignore him and continue on up. Now here are the four belfries. There's three towers. Um, the three south towers have these little teleporters. I'll just quick, briefly show this. And we need a particular type of key, not a stone sword key, to turn on the teleporters. And if you go up to the top tower and open the chest here on the top tower, I'll just show you where we are on the map. Open up the chest and we get an imbued sword key. That is what we need to turn on the teleporters. Now, each of the other three towers have a teleporter, but we've only got one imbued sword key for now. Uh, just give me a second here. No, which weapon do I want? I'm just going to change to our Uchi Katana with the Gravitas. And I'm going to... Hiya! Damn it, one of them got away. I've got the other two though. Oh, they didn't even drop any feathers. Boo! Alright, and we're going to uh, make sure we activate this side of Grace. And actually, because of what we've got coming up, we are going to rest. Uh, we are going to level up if we can. Oh my gosh. We need, what, 200 more? Okay, well, we know how to do that. Did I just say, oh my gosh? That is not something I usually find coming out of my mouth, but there we go. It's, it's happened. Nothing I can do about it. Alright, we are going to level up. Gonna spend as much, get rid of all your runes. Uh, now, where were we? We got figure up to 20, didn't we? And the next thing I wanna do is start working on intelligence again. We need that to at least 38. So we're going up to 38 in intelligence next. All right, down to 57 runes. Uh, we don't have three golden seeds, do we? No. And we don't have any sacred tears I forgot to use this time. And three and five, that's fine. Guys, oh, I forgot to mention, this episode is about getting revenge. We are going to definitely get revenge. I don't need Great Blade Phalanx just yet. We might be using it in the next video, though, uh, or shortly. But for now, we're just going to leave these three spells. Scholar's Armament, Glint Blade, and Pebble. We, or Great Glintstone Shard, a.k.a. Pebble. Uh, we are going to be using all of those in this video. Lots of fun stuff in this video, actually. I'm looking forward to few of the things we're doing. Um, that will do, that'll do the trick there. Okay, now we are going to use the, the imbued sword key and we're gonna go get some revenge, guys. Oh, now that's the other thing I wanted to check. What shields do I have? Now, I'm gonna assume by the end of this video that you've managed to get one of these brass shields to drop and we're going to start using the brass shield um, by the end of this video, guys. I'll show you where I 
have got it to drop a few times later in the video. Um, but yeah, it's definitely... I mean, it's not going to change the walkthrough if I use that shield versus the shield we're wearing uh, now, we're using now. The brass shield is just a tiny bit better. All right, we are going to go to this tower here, and I'll tell you two ways you can tell you're at the right tower. One, it says Precipice of in Anticipation here at this message. And secondly, it is the Northeast Tower. That tower where I am right there on the map. We're going to use the key right here, the key that we just picked up from that chest. And the other two we're going to cover later in the walkthrough, guys. The other two towers. And each of the towers has a teleporter that's going to take us somewhere else. And I'll uh, see if you recognize where we go when we get there. Let's do it. Now, we still have our um, rune arc active as well, I do believe. Yes, we definitely do. Um, we've got the Radagon Scar Seal and the Erdtree's Favor active. Do you guys recognize where we are? Let's cross the bridge. Uh, obviously, if you are here, you can open up the map and you will be, sh be able to see where we are. We've got a new different type of butterfly there. Uh, you'll see plenty of those throughout the game. And we have a boss door here. Uh, and look at where we are. This is actually the very start of the game. And the boss that kills us right at the start. Well, I have seen some players good enough to beat that boss right at the start. But definitely killed anyone following this walkthrough or uh, if you uh, did what I did. Definitely killed me. Let's just say that. We're going to go get some revenge. It's not still not an easy fight even at this level. Um, not for me anyway. We are going to get our Bloodhound's Fang out. We are going to put Scholar's Armament on it. We are going to use our Physic. We're going to two-hand the weapon. And in we go. Now, I don't believe... Uh, I'm going to fill my FP. I don't believe we can use Oleg. That's what it says in my notes. I don't think we can use Oleg. But we're going to go in and we're going to take her on. Hit it on. Whatever it is. Here we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to dodge its moves and then use finesse. Right trigger. Ow. Finesse. Right trigger. Look how much damage we're doing. Oh, oh, oh. Let's uh, heal. We want to uh, attack after he attacks. If that makes sense. Like after he does that. Uh, I should heal. All right, here we go. Finesse, right trigger, finesse, right trigger, and he's done. Or it, or she, I don't even know. The enemy is fouled. We get the ornamental straight sword, which actually isn't too bad. You can dual wield it too. Uh, and the golden beast crest shield that's probably too heavy for us, or too uh, requires too much strength. Let's just have a quick look at that. Oh, it only requires 24. And it's got better stats than what we're using. But it is 12.5 heavy. Yeah, it's too heavy. Too heavy for what I want to do. So I won't be using that. Okay. Uh, we are eventually going to put on some uh, different armor as well. Okay, that was fun. We beat the boss. How come I didn't have Scholar's Armament still? What happened there? All right, now that we have beaten that, we're going to go pick up some loot that we couldn't get last time we were here. So we're going to head south and go across this bridge here. Which is, again, back towards the very start of the game. Go up both sets of stairs. Well, that one and these stairs here. And then instead of going in that door there, we're going to head off to the right-hand side over here through this door and upstairs and grab the Stormhawk King Ashes. That's pretty cool, guys. I'm going to have a quick look at it. I do... Whoops. Where am I going? Yeah. Where'd it go? Hang on. No, wait. No, that's something else. Sorry. Sorry. Disregard. That is not ashes that we can actually summon. That's something we're going to give to someone, isn't it? 
Hang on, let me let me read my notes. The chest is where we get. Ah, sorry, sorry. Yep. Go inside. Turn right. This is just the Stormhawk ashes. Disregard. Stormhawk. Dean. I think that's like the um, like the sword birds, but a little bit different. Let's go in and have a look. Let's have a look. Oops, wrong button. Jeez, Captain Fumblefingers. Yeah, Stormhawk Dean. I don't know if it does have the um. I think the uh, swordbird things are called warhawks, aren't they? Anyway, oh, there's the there's the warhawk ashes. Okay, so we've got two different types of birds now. Okay, good to know. All right, and you can jump down here. That's just the door that we could have come in earlier, just there. And you can have a look here. If you were doing that um, White Mask Vare side quest that I said was uh, all about multiplayers and invasions and stuff like that, uh, that leads you here, and you can actually, you need to get the maiden's blood from here, but... Um, we obviously aren't doing that, so there's no option for that here for us. And I believe that's all we can do here, or all the, uh, that we want to do while we're here. And we're going to fast travel right back to where we started the video. We're going to go to the foot of the four belfries. So not up to the four belfries itself there, but back down to where we started at the bottom of that hill. Okay, here we are. Now, from here, we are going to head to our north. Oh, let's uh, do a little bit of farming here. Thank you, thank you. Oh, three beast bones. Very, very generous. Only one. Tight ass. All right, and we are going to go see these jellyfish right here. We're going to take them on. Let's do it. All right. Gravitas! I don't know if it works on jellyfish. Not very well. All I managed to do was aggro all of them all at once. Ow! Ow! Hey, I wasn't ready. No fair. Okay. Oh, I thought you were dead. Hang on. Alright, let me just uh, heal up. <laughs> I was just testing Gravitas. I haven't actually tried it on the jellyfish. Normally we just uh, slash away and don't waste any... Hopefully I get a free heal flask for killing them. Yes, thank you, thank you. All right, and the reason we came here was not for... No, it was for that. The jellyfish shield. That's a pretty cool shield. Uh, and some blood grace. whoop de doo Okay, guys, there is an enemy camp just ahead. Now, if we run at the camp head on, we can easily take care of all the enemies inside the camp. The problem is there's two mages up above the camp, up on those rocks, that shoot magic down at us, and it is a pain in the butt. So we ain't going to be uh, going head on. We're going to go take out the magic mages first, and they're not alone either, but that's the way we're going to go. So we're heading down here sort of to the southeast, and we're going to climb up on these rocks, and we need to avoid those giant trolls again. We do not want to get in a fight with them while we're trying to take on this camp. Okay, if you see that one up there, that's right where my head is. He is facing the other way, which is good. Sometimes he patrols... Oh, is he? No, yeah. He's patrolling off to the right. That is fine. If he's doing that, we can go this way. Oh, no. Okay. See that? He turned around. Even though he doesn't have a head, he's got eyes. We need to wait till he turns to our right. Be very, very patient. Yeah, he's going to move to his to our left... Um, a little bit before he patrols back. Oh, this is good. I need a drink. Oh, no. My drink's empty. Ah, oh, what? 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 All right. Off he goes. So that's fine for us now. We can uh, move forward. And then when we can, we're going to drop down in here. And we're going to hop off the horse and get into sneak mode. How's our... Ooh, I'm going to quickly craft some bone darts. Alright, craft some bone darts. If you're following along, you should have plenty of uh, thin beast bones. And I'm going to sneak up here. And find this path that heads up to the southeast. And that's just a good place to lure this guy to. So that we can... Uh, Fight him without worrying about everyone else. So we're going to throw a bone dart at him. 
We've got, got our shield ready, and we're going to do a guard counter, of course. You guys know the drill by now. And if he throws one of those grenades at you, dodge it. Like this. Wait for it to land. Roll forward. And then guard counter. And finish him off. Oh. Hey. Thought he was dead again. I've got to stop. I've got to stop thinking that enemies are dead before they're dead. Okay. Now, there should be another guy that we want to do that to. That guy. Not the dog. That guy. We're going to do the same thing, all right? Wait till he stops so we don't miss. Uh, maybe not stops, but right there. That should do. He sort of stops to turn. Do a guard counter for you. Oh, we're going to do this again. Guard counter. Oh, I missed. Haha, uh -huh, I didn't miss. There we go. Oh, what did you give up? Now, oh, this is... These guys are the guys that sometimes drop those brass shields too. So... If you haven't already got one, you might get one here. You could always farm for it if you really want it, but it's not really necessary. All right, the dog here, we're going to sneak up to this rock here so that we're close enough to the dog and give it two pebbles. Go. Oh, three pebbles. I thought two would be enough, but anyway. Apparently three pebbles for him. And then we're going to sneak up to this rock here. There is another enemy up to our right up there. But this guy is one of those pains in the butt. So we're going to go give him some pebbles. Uh, let's try two pebbles. I think one got him done. Two for fun. Okay, and we're going to sneak up to our right up here and do a sneak attack. Backstabber. Good night. Alright, he's definitely dead. And he may drop a brass shield as well. And that is the main culprit. Alright, we're going to do a bit of a sneaky plan here, alright? Um, I am just going to make sure that my FP is full. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We are going to throw a bone dart at him. Just to lure him away from that cliff edge. Because if I go up and do a sneak attack on him, he's, he usually falls off the edge down into the camp and then makes it harder for us to uh, actually complete what we're trying to complete. I'm going to throw a bone dart at him, but I'm not going to do a guard counter because he'll throw magic at us. I'm going to throw a bone dart at him and then auto immediately run over here and jump over here and hide in this bush. Okay, and then we're going to wait for him to sort of see where he goes. He might come this way, he might come that way. If he comes this way, we're going to jump back over here. Just can't fit through there. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can't fit back. Okay. Um, we're going to avoid him until he starts thinking, oh no, nothing happened, nothing happened, and he's going to start walking back to his spot, at which point we're going to sneak up behind him before he gets to the edge, and we're going to do a sneak attack on him. That is the plan. Let's see how we go. All right, so first step, throw a bone dart, run over here, hide in the bush, see if we can see. Okay, he's coming this way. Jump back. All right. He's like, oh no, nothing happened. We're going to hide in this bush. He's going to give up shortly. And we're going to, oh, and after we do the sneak attack, we're going to do the gravitas and a heavy attack. All right, come on, turn around. Turn around. Don't back away. Turn around. Oh, I've never seen him do that, guys. Oh, no. I've never seen him do that. All right. New plan. We might do... Sneak attack. Then gravitas to make him not fall off the edge. Oh, this is so annoying. Um, let's just try... Plan A again. We haven't really lost anything. Let's try plan A again. Run. All right. All right. Where is he? Ok, 
Okay, there he is. Oh, he's doing that back and away thing again. Uh oh, he's found me. Ow. Alright, Gravitas. Ah! I'm gonna have to heal. Alright, this is not how we wanted to do things. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, let's do a guard counter then. Uh oh, he means business. Let's do another guard counter. And roll away. Guard counter. Ah, uh, missed him. Roll away and get your stamina back. Alright, guard counter. Worked every time in practice runs. Roll away. I'm just gonna heal. Guard counter. This is working though, this is working. Roll away, get your stamina. Alright, guard counter. Let's do a Gravitas. And a normal. There we go. Alright, so guard counters do work pretty well on him. Maybe that should have been plan A. Or it can still be plan B. Uh, for those that need help with that one. Um, fortunately, I'm going to have to heal again. Alright, and our reward are these two chests. The Albinoric Blood Clot, just a crafting item. And... Smithing Stone Level 4, yes please. Okay. Alright, now, before we go into the camp proper, we have another, another enemy we need to take on. This guy. Alright, we are going to Magic Clint Blade this guy. Alright, the plan here is... We're going to just do three, no, four magic limp blades right here. He's going to start charging at us or running up the hill at us. What we're then going to do is when we've got enough distance, we're going to let go of a couple of glint blades and then roll back past him so that he faces this way and the glint blades hit him in the back. It's no good if they hit him in the front, but we've fought a couple of these guys before. Let's do it. Let's do four there. Oh, we nearly killed him. Let him come at us. Alright, launch two more. And then head over this way. So they get him in the back. But boom Done! Please drop your pumpkin head helmet. Nah, always it's Sanctuary Stone. Apparently they can drop the helmet, which I've never had happen before. Um, speaking of which, I checked before of all my different save files in this game. I've got well over 300 hours in this game now, guys. Um, I think we're only at about 40 hours in this in this particular file though. All right, now we're heading into camp and we've got two different ways we're going to take on enemies. We're going to uh, pebble some and the, if any get too excited, we'll be using our sword. Let's just fill up our FP. We don't want to run out in the middle of this. So this guy, for example, he needs one pebble. Let's get nice and close and one pebble for you and then back away. The dog got a bit interested. Let's give him a few pebbles. Three, I think it was, wasn't it? Nope, just two. Just two. All right. Old mate with the shield. He gets a uh, bone dart. And a guard counter. He might drop that shield for us. That would be nice. And no shield drop for me. Luckily, I've already got one. Hopefully, you guys get get a good drop. All right, get our thingamajig back out. This guy gets a pebble. And that guy gets a pebble. He gets two pebbles. There we go. Off to our right. Get your shield back on. This guy gets a sneak attack. There we go. Down this side. Let's see what these two dropped. Nothing good, I can tell you that. Butterfly. Short sword. Erdly flower. This guy. Okay, there's two. Don't, don't be fooled. I forgot about this guy for a second then. Uh, this guy gets bone dart. Shield ready. And finish him off. 
Drop your shield, goddammit. No, nah, no drop shield for him. And we'll do a sneak attack on this guy. And there we go. Free refills. All fully refilled too. Alright, this should be a rune arc here. So if you've lost your rune arc and you need another one, feel free to use that. I've still got my rune arc active. And I think we're done here. I think we've cleaned out the whole camp and we need to check what's in this uh, chest, which... Hang on a second. That's not even... The chest isn't on my notes. Those other two chests were... Nope, this chest is not on my notes. Oh, that's why. It's just a cuckoo glintstone. I probably was like, eh, I can't even bother writing that down. Um, okay, leaving the camp to the northeast, we are... Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. All right. Now, we have a really cool... There's a, one of those big, long caravans with the two trolls pulling it along, along this road. You may remember passing it when we went and got the map of this area. We're going to be taking that on, but before we do that, we're heading down to this spot right about here to grab some loot, and then we're going to run all the way up to about here and past the caravan and grab a side of grace, and we're going to use that as our launching point to take on the caravan. That's the plan. Let's go and get the goodies first at that first marker. Off to the east over here. And, oh. Grab some crystal bud. Now be ready. Um, what do we need? We're just going to do a whole heap of pebbles. So fill up your FP before you go in and grab this loot. We're going to be ready to... Oh, what was that? Roll fruit. Yay. Got to be ready to shoot. Shoot from the hip with the pebbles. Alright, so as soon as we go up here and pick up this loot, turn around and start firing. We've got a sombering, sombering three. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, I can't dodge while I'm trying to um, shoot these things either. That was good. Oh no, I'm filling up the flask at the wrong time. Luckily, it's not doing a lot of damage. Alright, so two pebbles each. Wasn't too risky, I suppose. And we got the sombering three. Somber Smithing Stone level 3. Pick up whatever they drop, if they drop any goodies. And let's recover some more Kim Beast Bones. Where'd your mate go? Okay, now. The next step of the plan was to go to that side of Grace, wasn't it? I'm gonna get back to the road and just follow the road until we find the uh, side of Grace, really. Or the path, I don't know if we'd really call it a road. You can take out this guy on horseback, but we're actually going to get him later anyway. So, I think we'll just avoid him. Oh, you know what? Let's put our staff in our right hand and just give this guy a few glint uh, magic glint blades. Uh-oh. Uh, i got to fill up my... I immediately regret this decision because those blades are going to get me. No, they're not. Ah, you missed me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got me. Uh-oh. They missed. Stay on the move. Ow. Ow. Stay on the move. I'm out of stamina. That's why I can't shoot. Haha. Uh -huh. Couple more for you and you're dead, mate. There we go. Come on. Get him. There we go. Alright. Probably was unnecessary. Anyway, I just wanted to get him done. Uh, we we'll have to we have to do it again in a minute anyway. But first, we're going to go find this side of Grace. Ignore that. That's the caravan down there. Ignore that. Ignore those guys at the campfire. Oh, god damn it. Get it. You're making me look bad, sheep. Seriously. I don't know what was going on there. All right, where's our marker? There it is. And just past the marker. 
Here we have the side of... Wait, what's what's chasing me? Oh! You know what? Let's have a bit of fun. Uh, just before we get this side of grey. Actually, let's just um, make sure we've at least discovered it. So if we do stuff this up... Hey, get back here. I'm not done with you. Scholar's Armament. Scholar, I said Scholar's Armament game. Oh, you. I ain't done with you. Come here. You don't get to chase me like that. Get away with it. Alright, I can't really see what's going on because of this bush, but we've got a critical. And just a normal attack. That'll finish him off. Yeah, that's what you get. And land octopus, octopus ovary. Yeah, I can speak. I'm a good speaker. Words are hard. Uh, here we go. Let's uh, rest here and we'll get ready to take on the caravan. Okay, and here we are. It is the Northern Leonia Lake Shore uh, Point of Grace. And we are going to go take on that caravan. We don't really have anything else we need to do. Oh, no. The Phalanx Great Blade Phalanx was for the next video, so I don't need to... No, all right. Okay, first thing we're going to do is head south to that fire that we passed and take out the guards there so that they don't get involved in our caravan expedition. And same with that guy on horseback again. <laughs> we have to take him out again. Alright, these two here. Just get this first guy, throw a bone dart at him, get ready and do a guard counter on him. Look at the other guy. Ah! Dude. Oh, alright, alright, that's it. Guard counter! Yay, it worked. Alright, got rid of him. Go take on the next guy. Come here, you. Alright, finish him off. And... Horseback. And staff in our right hand. Come on. And magic limp blades. And horse dude. Come. Ah, oh, he's all the way over there. Wait for him to come back because we don't want to get involved with the caravan that's coming. All right, let's head off to this side too where we can just um, fire a few at him before he sees us. All right, he's seen me, I think. I'll fire as many as I can at him though. Why do I feel that didn't do enough damage? Oh, they missed! Trying to keep him in a straight line here. There we go. Alright, he's done. Okay. Don't worry about the horse, obviously. Now, head up behind the caravan. Uh, it's kind of in a tricky spot here, but as long as we don't track too much interest. We want to get behind everyone. Oh, that include those guys. Yeah, we'll get right behind even these guys here. And we'll get off our horse. And we'll get some pebbles happening. Let's start with this guy at the back. You get a pebble. You get two pebbles. The dog gets a few pebbles. You get two pebbles. We fill our FP. And you get two pebbles. Alright. This guard here. Get your shield ready. Oops, I accidentally pressed the wrong button there. You get a backstabber. Alright, this guy, he's going to get two pebbles. And then we'll guard counter on the other guy. Get your shield out. Oh, he's doing that again. Uh -huh. Guard counter. Finish him off. Alright, now go catch up to the caravan a bit. Horseback. Alright, lots of pebbles time. Oh, there's one right here. You get two pebbles. Alright, you get two pebbles. That guy probably only needs one pebble. These guys get two each. 
Oh, 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 oh. Refill your feet when needed. I just realized we're going to run out of FP. Uh, I didn't bring as much as I thought I did. Let's just finish these guys off. Take me out. Oh, you want some? Bring it. Out. Uh huh. I frames. Okay, we're gonna back away. We're gonna use a pebble on that zombie dude to stop him from shooting magic at us. And now guard counter on this dude. Hopefully that all makes sense. Not going too fast for everybody. And one more pebble after we pick up whatever these guys dropped. One more pebble for this uh, zombie mage guy. And then we're going to flick over to magic glint blades and just launch as many as we've got into one of the trolls backs. Fill up our FP again. And continue to launch and kill at least one troll. Come on, troll. Oh, he's down, he's down. How, can we get to the front and do this before he gets up? No. But that'll finish him off though. Nope, nearly. There we go, finished him off. Next troll, you get glint blades. Till we run out of FP that is. Can we kill him? Can we kill him? Oh, here we go, here we go. Get to the front of him. And... Come on, come on. Nope, not quite. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect! Two more trolls down, and do not forget to get what, what we did all this for. Well, we didn't really do it for this. I just like knowing that we've uh, taken down all the enemies. And we get the Carrion Knight Sword. Actually, not a bad sword, but I'm not going to be... Probably not going to be using it in the playthrough. Now, or in the walkthrough, I should say. This isn't a playthrough. God, what are you thinking? All right. You think we're done. We're not. Uh, although we do need FP, don't we? We didn't even get any free refills. Baloney! Alright, we are going to, real quick, I'm going to put a marker right here, because this is where I want to come back to. But we're going to travel to the northern Leonia Lake shore, just to recharge our FP. And I managed to grab a drink while we were uh, fast traveling there. And we are going to get on our horse. We're going to put our staff in our right hand again. And there should be five of those balloons. Hang on, that's what my notes say, isn't it? Yep, five of those balloons we're going to shoot down using our pebble. And we're going to get a whole ton of runes. Now, don't spend any runes, guys. In the next video, I think it's at the end of the next video, we've got some purchases we need to make. So save all your runes. Alright, and when we shoot down these balloons, we may have to also deal with the enemies that drop when we approach close to the balloon. And we'll do that with pebbles as well. This is why we went and filled... Oh, you need to be closer than... No, not closer. Two pebbles for each of those. I think. Maybe one missed there. Ooh, get that dragonfly if you can. Yep. All right, so that's one balloon. We've got three that way and one that way. We'll save that one for last because we're heading that way anyway. Which one of these is closer? It's hard to see. We'll go for you. Oh, he's got a dragonfly as well. If it's not moving, start with the dragonfly. There we go. All right, balloon. Get that off my screen. Oh, oh no. I accidentally took my class of physic, my wondrous physic. It doesn't matter though. 
All right. And two of those. You get two as well. And don't forget to pick up the dragonfly head if you're lucky enough to get some dragonflies. All right. Oh, I see another dragonfly. It's right above me. Oh, no. It was just a bird. Disregard. Okay. Get nice and close. Shoot down the balloon. Oh, what? Maybe I wasn't close enough. Two for you. Two for your buddy. Oh my gosh, I need to fill up again. Two, uh, one for you. Hey, 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 don't be shooting at me. Rude. All right, next balloon. We're getting lots of cool runes for this, by the way. The the, uh, the great runes that we're getting. Uh, give me that. Golden rune, not great rune. What am I saying? Okay, shoot down this balloon. Really? It's hard to uh, judge how close you are to the balloon, isn't it? Golden rune six again. Two pebbles for each of those. And off to that other one that we left back this way. Oh, someone dropped some loot over here as well, did they? What'd you got for me? Marionette soul drama. That's pretty cool. Better than nothing. Alright, so heading out to the south now. Uh, you know what? We do need that side of grace. We're going to be coming back to that side of grace. Oops, wrong button. Um, let's just grab it now. We won't rest at it, but we'll just... Actually, it wouldn't matter if you did rest at it, if you wanted to refill anything. Because uh, the balloons don't reset, so that's fine. Um, anyway... We're going to end up at that side of Grace. May as well grab it now. I'll just show you on the map, actually, where we are. That's the Sorcerer's Isle side of Grace. So you can grab that. We'll fast travel back to that at the end when we've uh, done this uh, collecting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang on. Refill. Ow. There we go. All right, so we did all five balloons and their enemies that were attached. And from there, what we want to do is head down to about here somewhere. And we're going to find some of those um, sarcophagi coffin thingies. Oh, there they are. We're already there. And when we approach, a heap of those, um, what I call hag enemies, are going to spawn in. And we're going to use pebbles on them as well, believe it or not. Okay, once we get them to spawn in, I just want to create some distance here. Let's see if we can uh, pebble them without us knowing would be nice. Oh my god, how close do you want me to be, game? Oh, we need two pebbles. Okay, make sure we don't get hit by that. Although, I don't think... It, they're not going to do a lot of damage, to be honest. Alright, you. Two pebbles for you. You. Another one through that bush, if we can get to him. There we go. Oh, who's shooting at me? Someone, someone found me. Ow! Oh, that one missed. Alright, I'm going to refill... Who else is shooting at me? There's literally one in between here and there. There he is. Oh, we missed. Hang on. Get it! Got him. Alright. Is that all of them? Is that why we just got the refill? I think we got all of them. Alright, I just want to get rid of the uh, beacon. Let's just run through it. Oops. Did I run through it? Yep, it's disappearing. Good. All right, let's uh, just uh, do these sort of row by row. Make sure we get all the runes. Yum, yum, yum. Lots of goodies. Can I go that way? Yep. 
Yeah, collect all the runes here. Um, oh, the hag dropped something. What did the hag drop? A grave violet. Whoop de doo. Golden rune level three. Level three. Not to be sneezed at, I suppose. What's a level three worth? Eight hundred dollar doos. What else? Hey, pick it up. A level four. That's twelve hundred dollar doos. And a level two. 400 and another level four 1200 yum 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 i think we got them all i don't see any more all right we're going to fast travel back to that side of grace that we just discovered a moment ago the sorcerer's isle all right guys in the uh next video we are going to be uh exploring this island a little bit more we're going to take on a boss called the royal revenant got a cool strategy for that boss and um oh we're going to meet a new npc we're going to be able to do some upgrades to our weapons uh lots of stuff happening uh some more stuff up this way as well can't wait for that video guys if you're enjoying the series don't forget to hit that like button it really helps the channel and also commenting really helps the channel as well guys and please if you want to be a real hardcore member of Aussie's Army, don't forget to join over on Patreon and become a member for just $1. Or you can press the join button here on YouTube and uh, become a member here on YouTube as well. Really appreciate all the support, you bloody legends. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.